hello welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video i know you're going to enjoy what i have for you today i do have the new glow let's wait let's read it together as a class glowish by huda beauty this is their new tinted moisturizer or um skin tint as they're calling it i actually did a get ready with me i did other products by huda beauty i just huda it up i did lip swatches by huda beauty I did it. I also used their brown, their bronzer by Glowish as well. So, yeah. It was a Huda type of deal. I've been wanting to use Huda for a long time. I've been seeing some of my favorite creators use her. And I said I have to get in on it. Um, so, yeah. This is what it looks like. Let me take off my glasses so you can see the full. Mm -hmm. All of this is Huda. Okay, most of it. Like 90% Huda. Like, yeah, it looks good. It looks nice. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, watch the video and see um, me act a fool in Huda. I'm officially a Huda stand. That's it. I said it. Enjoy the swatches. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with Huda Beauty's water gel. You know, I've never really used Fenty before, and I was just, I was curious about it because I kept seeing like um the Plastic Boy use her stuff, especially her powders. I've been dying to get my hands on these powders. So during the VIB sale, I got two powders and some of her other products. But today we're going to use this, the tinted moisturizer. And the bronzer because, um, you know, folks are into the tinted moisturizer. And I am too. I've been tearing Fenty's tinted moisturizer up. That's all I've been using um, because it's light. And, um, you know, I'm here for the lightness. Especially now that my skin has started to kind of cooperate and clear up. I mean, you can still see um, these pores and things like that. But... This is actually an improvement. I'm going to set this with Laura Mercier powder. Oh, well, get ready with me. I'm so grown. I love it. <laughs> so that'll help with those pores. See, that blurs it out nicely. So this is exactly <clears throat> what I do with... Um, Fenty, when I use Fenty's um, tinted moisturizer. And I'm actually going to do a video on that as well because I've been loving a lot of their stuff here, re here recently. I'm going to do the color correcting. This is by Fenty. This is Pumpkin. Um, yeah, see, I still think this is way too much. I still haven't, you know? So just caution. Don't get too heavy handed with this stuff because you really don't need it and you want it. You don't want it to cake up, especially when you're wearing the tinted moisturizer. When I um, do too much concealer or too much of whatever under the um, it makes the tinted moisturizer act funny. But I don't know what Huda's is going to do. I'm really excited about this one. Because I think I'm becoming a Huda stand. The little bit that I've used from her brand, I like it. I like the eyeshadows. I've used that before. I like the lipsticks too, but you know, liquid lipsticks are my thing. So, and I do have swatches at the end of this video. Huda swatches. And then I'm also going to color correct this because I have this darkness around my mouth so that... When I put my foundation on, you can't really see it. And I have that too. The full darkness. I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan uh, concealer that I use. And I'm doing this before the tinted moisturizer application. This is in the shade... SK12. 
and it's not a lot but I'm doing that because I want some more coverage under my eye I don't want all of this you know hard work to show up on my face <laughs> So where I color correct it is also where I'm going back over with my uh, concealer. And I found that this has been working good for me. This does look so much better. Now that I've been doing the color correction, oh man, I love it. I felt weird, you know, the first time I was like, what in the world are they talking about putting orange under my eye? I'm going to look like somebody, you know, got me. <laughs> But nope, it it cancels out, you know. Um, it does, you know, uh, make your skin look better and you don't have to work as hard. I love it. And let me put something on my lips because <laughs> this is a lip swatching channel and I can't sit here with crusty lips one second. This is the Laneige. much better because we're just not going to sit here and put on makeup <clears throat> with you know jacked up lips it's just not done absolutely not now we're going to go with the glowish uh foundation or tinted moisturizer this is in the shade 10 deep tan oh i like the top of the top of this is like an iridescent type of thing going on So already I can tell that this is thicker than the Fenty one that I use. So I'm just going to leave it there. I was about to do another pump, but that might be enough. And I can't remember. The first review I saw on this was by the Plastic Boy. And I don't think he went in with a lot either. And I think it's still like covered, covered well. So let's see. I'm going to use the butt of my beauty blender. Well, this is, hmm. Yeah, this might even be too much, honestly. I don't like the smell. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Y'all see, I've been trying to be all consistent with the content. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she is glowing. I mean, I was glowing before, but now I'm glowing. Glowing, glowing. <laughs> so she has covered. And that was two pumps. This is how much is left. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. Because I honestly don't think that I need all of that. That's going to be too much, right? Like, don't y'all think that this is enough? I mean, definitely don't put this much. Maybe you need one pump. If you want it to act like a real tinted moisturizer, one pump. I didn't read the directions. I never do. Um, So real, if it says one pump on there, use one pump. You don't need a lot of this at all. I'm definitely going to compare this to Fenty a lot. Already, I can see. I like Fenty, how it blurs my skin more. This oily, oily look, this um, or luminous. I guess I should say scares me because this is what I would naturally get to by the time everything sets down or, you know, by the time I wear it. So that kind of scares me, but definitely I think if you have a drier type of um, skin, like all year round, if your skin is dry or something, then yeah, but this time of year, my skin is popping, <sighs> glowing, okay? Very angelic light, you know? Um, so, I don't know if I would use this. This probably be good in the winter time, though. But I do like the fact that it covers me. I like the fact that it has some coverage. It's a little bit thicker than the Fenty, I think. You know? Like it says, it's a glow, glow wish. This is the Huda Beauty uh, concealer that I purchased during the VIB sale in Toasted Almond. 
This is my first time using their concealer as well. Just put it there. Oh, she thick thick. Hello. I don't mind if it's thick as long as it plays well with the powders. This might be way too much concealer. I think this is way too much concealer. Okay. Ooh. I love the smell of their concealer though. Ooh. I wish that their concealer, their um, this glowish, I wish it smelled like this. This is nice. It's gonna come together, folks. Don't worry. This is nice. It looks very smooth. Oh boy. Okay. So I get it. I get it. I get it. Huda doesn't need a lot. I'll just keep that in mind. I'm going to use their powder as well. And this is in the shade Blondie. Oh, look all the powder. This smells like the concealer. I've been using these for my, um, and this is by, I forgot the name of it. it you, it's the brand you get at um, Target. Kasha? It's not Kasha. That's at Sephora, not Kasha. Close, something. I, I'll put it up on the screen once I um, can, can think of the name or look it up. These are so, so good. I like this tip here because you can get right under your eye. This is perfect for like a pow applying powder over top of your foundation. Okay, a little bit goes a long way. That's what I'm learning with Huda. Huda doesn't need a lot. Whoa. Yeah. Hey y'all, I think I like Huda. Like, let me put that down there. I really think I like this this brand. She's giving me coverage, but not cake. So this is perfect. You know, you can use this uh, this tinted moisturizer and powder her up to kind of get her to a place where it's not too much glowy, glowy in your face. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get my um, Laura Mercier powder and do this. I really love this sponge and it's huge. So you can use it wet as well, but I like it dry. Okay. I'm on the hood of train. Choo choo. <laughs> okay. I can, I can rock with hood. Okay. I really am loving how smooth this looks. I do wish that I went in with the, um, more yellowish powder because Blondie actually is not Blondie on me at all. She's very pale, but I still love the way that it smoothed me so nicely. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do my brows. I don't know, is that a scratch or something? Do my brows. Um, but yeah, y'all yeah, see my little project going on here. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> I want to use, I'm really trying to use the stuff that I have. And you guys are going to see, I'm kind of on a, a low to no buy right now because I really don't want this channel to be um, always reviewing every single thing that drops. But stuff that I like, you're going to see it. Like, um, after after this i'm gonna do a video i'm gonna do my haul video so that you guys can see what i just purchased i'm liking the makeup drops and even though i don't always do the get ready with me's and stuff i still um buy this stuff and i'm still trying to see what it's all about okay that looks a little bit better yeah close enough Close enough. Y'all want to be petty? Y'all don't want to match? You never want to match. 
but this is what you want to do on my face this is another uh first time use for me the 24 hour brow setter it was a mel thompson recommendation i want my brows to stick up or I have um chronic bow brow okay my brows do not want to obey they never have i don't think they ever will but let's see what this does to them for them hopefully so i'm using the kevin aquan concealer again and i'm just going to shape my brows with this Ooh. I don't know where um, you guys live, but where I live, the cicadas have made a return. I don't like bugs. And I know people are like, oh, but they're so innocent and they won't bite you and da 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 da. I don't care. I don't do bugs. Period. No, no, mm -mm. nope, Ooh. whoa, <gasps> Mel Thompson, this is amazing, the brow setter, I'm not buying anything else, yes, this is what I want, wow, thank you sis, okay, now I'm going to get into this bronzer i wanted to again try this new stuff and see what they're talking about plus i like the marbleization <clears throat> is that a word it is on this channel <laughs> marbleization so that's the package i like this design that's really cool Oh, that's that's not just going to bronze me. That's going to contour for me. So I might just use it as a contour. But it disappears? Wait, what? What just happened? Hold up. Maybe a light bronzing? What's going on here? Okay. Mm. Let's see what she does. She looks like she... Ooh, I'm intrigued. Okay, let me get my... This is the like Eason it. brush in V50. And I'm going to do this. Mm, but she shows up. <laughs> so this, I think, would be, <clears throat> excuse me, this would be a nice contour. This is a contour for me. So I'm going to do my nose, too. Because, like I said, this is a contour for me. Oh, yeah, this is nice. <clears throat> this is what I normally use for my um, bronzer. And it kind of, it has bronzer on it, but not really. It'll still pick up something. Yeah, no, see, this is way too deep. Well, maybe not right now, actually, now that it's summer. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is actually probably going to be really good for me in the summer. Okay, like I said... I think that this is good for a contour. So you can put that on top. Like you can just stamp it with the angle brush like this. Stamp it. You know. This looks nice. This does look nice. Okay. I'm going to use the Huda powder again. Do this. That's another reason why I like this brush. I mean, this sponge, because I can do this when I contour. Oh, this stuff smells so good. So far, I'm really happy with the things that I got uh, with Huda Beauty. I'm really, really, really happy. I'm going to use the their Nude Rich Palette. I'm going to start with this shade here. And just pat that on there. This will be a nice base for whatever is going to happen from this look. Come on, Huda. 
Why y'all ain't tell me about Huda? Why y'all didn't tell me that I needed to get on the Huda train? Okay, I'll do this one and this one. Publia, what was I talking about? The cicadas? These things are driving me crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate bugs. I just do. And I initially, they weren't too bad. They really weren't. They were not too bad. But then at some point, they just got a little too aggressive. Like they were home on my door. Um, just congregating like, hey. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are not supposed to be here. Well, this is pretty. Maybe just a little bit of this. Maybe a little tad tap of that. Just a little bit. How's that? That looks good, I think. Not too, too much, but not too little. This looks nice. This is nice and neutral, but it gave me a little something. They blended well together. I want this shade right here. This is the V31. And I'm going in with this shade. This is just for my inner corner. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. I didn't even think it would come out that, that pretty. So now I'm going to do my brow as well. I love this highlighter. It's so perfect for my skin tone. Um, I love how it glows. Isn't this pretty? I'm going to do my eyeliner and my lashes, blend all of this out, and I'll come back with the swatches. So this is my finished look. I like, I like the products. You have to set it. If you don't want that foundation to be too glowy, I think you need to set it with either their powders or whatever powder you have. But I'm loving all the products that I use on my face. That's what it'll be from now on because I love the both of them. And um, sorry, Fenty. So I went and I purchased about six of their Demi Matte liquid lipstick formulas. And I also purchased one of the topper shades that I will swatch for you guys as well. These are not new but they're new to me and possibly you. This is the shade Day Slayer. I purchased these on sale the other day. What was it, last week? Last week uh, they had a sale and I think these were either, these are $12, I believe. Either $10 or $12. And I'll let you know what she does once she dries down. So I'm going to go in with BFF3 by ColourPop to line my lips. You can definitely use a deeper shade if you want to. As a matter of fact, I'm watching this. And I might go in with a deeper shade. I don't know. I'm going to go, with, go in with BFF4 by ColourPop. And this, yeah. Deepen it a little more. Okay. The next shade is Provocature. So this time I'm going a little light-handed. Because it seems like that's better. I do like these. These are a mix between liquid lipstick and gloss. 
I think this is the perfect pairing of a lipstick and a liquid lipstick and a gloss. I would not wear this alone, but I like it. Also, these have a tingle, which I don't necessarily like, but it's not too much of a tingle that it bothers me. But I normally don't do things with a tingle. I guess I can compare them to Color Rain. They're lip lacquers. Well, no, there's a more glossy. It's more, there's lean more so to the glossy. These are like, these are nice. It's a nice um, formula. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm going to use Deep Void by Pat McGrath. Mm. This is a beautiful combo. I really like this. This looks good with the eyes, the makeup. This looks really nice. Let me do something with this hair. I don't know what. What is she doing? What are you doing? Stop embarrassing me. Oh, this combo. Ooh, look at this. Look at this whole, whole look. Next shade is Feminist. Of course, some of these I picked up thinking that they would be perfect shades for this summer. Um, Yeah. I'm going to pair this with French Kiss by Melt Cosmetics. It's a cicada right outside my window. That is crazy. Mm hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes. Here you go. It's Demi Matte. You said you don't like liquid lipstick. This is like the best of both worlds. It's a non-drying down liquid lipstick. What else did you want? Mm, I'm loving this formula a lot. I don't need to go in for it anymore because I got all the colors that I um, thought would look really good. So, yeah. Mm. Game changer. I really do like this formula, y'all. This is nice. Did y'all already know about these? Did you guys try them when they were first released or did you not go in for them? I do not know if they're still on sale, but if the price was something that was hindering you before and you just wanted to try them, I think they're like $12, like I said, 12 or $10. I'm gonna actually pair this with French Kiss as well by Melt Cosmetics. This is going to be gorgeous for this summer. Wow. The final shade for the Demi Matte formula is Passionista. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I was hoping that she acted a fool, and she did. <laughs> I think this is going to be gorgeous. Uh-huh. Yep. We like her. We love her. I'm going to use... Wine by Juvia's Place. I love these formulas. I'm my, yeah. I'm so glad that I caught the sale and I went in and got all the shades I that I wanted. I purchased one of their strobe shades. Y'all know I'm here for a good glitter party, okay? I'm gonna. Look at this. Look, can you see this? Look at the shade. Oh yeah. I'm here for it. I will always be here for it. I mean, what's the purpose of having lips? So that you can wear stuff like this and just be great. That's why we have lips. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and swatching with me. I enjoyed this video. It took me forever, but you know, by the time I edited it down, y'all won't know that. I love the concealers. I like the, I love the powders for Huda Beauty, but this is a nice 
uh, tinted moisturizer. Is that what they're calling it? And the bronzer is nice too, but you have to go in with little, little teeny bit and you can get it to be more matte once you use your powders and all of that to finish off your makeup. But it's not like the, I've used the Fenty um, Easy Drop. And with the, the Fenty Easy Drop, I literally go in with my fingertips and pat it in, press it into my skin, and it looks really nice. I don't have to set it, but I do because, like I said, right, you know, this time of year, my skin is oily and she's ready to pop. Um, but the foundation, it is nice. It is, but I would say it's it's not tinted at all. Like it's it got some coverage. It has like a more full type of coverage, in my opinion. That's what it is. But, you know, who am I? I'm just here for the lip swatches. Love the Demi Matte formula. Y'all saw me gushing over it. And um, that's that. Anyway, I hope that you're enjoying these videos. I have another one coming for you um, where I'm going to haul the new makeup that I have been purchasing. I have my new Kaleidos finally has arrived. That's the only thing about Kaleidos. Kaleidos literally takes a month to get here. But when she arrives, baby... <laughs> It's a situation. <laughs> I have my message. Oh, watch my ear. Watch my ear. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Put some gloss on just because you can. Bye, y'all.